So first of all, we're going to create a folder. Once the application was installed, it's a new installation so I do not have anything on this <coughs> on folder and I do not have any any records for the machines the application asked me to <coughs> find the devices in the network I will find the de devices in the automatic mode I don't need to wait until the end the application already found six devices in the network I just want to make sure that I have the devices registered in the accounting view. It's here, so I don't want to wait anymore. Now, general view, that shows the state for the machine. And accounting view, that shows the accounting. In order to access the accounting for the machines, the machine has to, all these machines has to be managed. So I will manage uh, two machines. The first one, this one right click manage the device password and the log is the same it's admin admin usually it takes several seconds up to one minute to manage the device you're supposed to see the green bar running up to the end then the device will be managed in my case it's early morning so all the machines are in sleep mode so it's going to take a little bit of time to wake up the machine and after that it's going to be managed the first one is done the next one manage the device and the same password and the same log now we're going to wait until the next machine going to wake up So basically once the application is installed, the application automatically asks you to create a folder. In this folder, it's going to hold all the information for the managed devices, as well as some accounts, informations, uh, information to the managed devices. And basically that's it. This folder, if it's corrupted, you can just delete it and create the new one. <coughs> if it does not exist, the application will not work and will always ask you. So uh, the application, this is a brand new application, no devices were added before. So I'm just following the standard procedure, what the application asked me to do. A little bit more time. general view it shows the state for the machine general information for the machine status for the machine green means the machine is online it's operational yellow means means it's a warning red means like for example this one means there's something wrong with the machine so it doesn't say me what's wrong with the machine but I assume it's a toner level goes low so it doesn't show me any toner level over on this machine. Okay, we're interested in the accounting device. In order to work with the accounting device, the device is supposed to be managed. Right click on the device, and then choose manage. The application will ask you the default password on the log. You can always Google it, but the if nobody changes it, so it's admin capital A, admin capital A, password on the log. Now the application is managed. Now the device is managed. Uh, on the accounting device, we have two folders, accounting device view and accounting view. Accounting view shows you the accounts 
to the specific device. Accounting device view shows you the uh, the uh, devices uh, with accounting. So, for example, 3551, I'm shifting to accounting view, and I see the accounts on the device. Now I'm going to shift to 5551 CI and accounting view, and it shows me a little bit different. Oh, somebody already managed them. So, accounting device view, double click on the desired device, you see this one. That's all the accounts that created for the uh, for this device. Uh, top, uh, new account, add account, delete account. So we have TDC service. If we're going to double click on it, it shows me this. So that's the specification for this account. Now I'm going to go to accounting view, double click on the same account, 